Now, what's this? Landmark tree. A distinctive landmark, but otherwise unremarkable at this time. You have a hunch that if you had a dog, it would be very interested in this landmark. Oh, how do I change my party? How do I change my party? Do we have to leave the map? Earlier, we got a chance to because... Loliana just joined, but normally, I would guess we change at the map. But if we can't... We can't leave Lothering because it'll be overrun by Darkspawn. It mm. shall be done. I think we'll be here for a little while. Just hold on tight. Whoa. What is that stuff? Oh, these are, this is the first time we've seen creatures other than humans. Or uh, Darkspawn as well. That's interesting. Okay. I'm gonna try holding. Hold? Which means that everyone will stand here, which is what we want. So, Alistair and Wellens stand up front. And then you two start attacking. Good to go. Another battle, I see. Blocked. Let's end this. Oh, oh. Oh, fantastic. Then do the same thing. Did I click on the same one? Oh, I clicked on two different ones. That's okay. Wait, are you attacking? Attack, guys! Yes. Oh boy, Alistair. It shall be done. Alistair, time to go. Here. Yeah. Oh, I've been webbed! Oh, Liliana's not doing anything. I gotta do some default tactics for her. Oh god, what is with the audio balancing in this game? Like, the combat music is so freaking loud and the normal music- Hey, Toxin Extract! That's what we needed. But yeah, like, the music balance is a little bit off, I think. That means we have three Venom now, right? It didn't say that I completed the quest because I didn't go back yet. I think this is what we needed? Let's try giving this to the guy when we get back. It's done. Oh, this is where we get toxin extract from toxic spiders. Hey, I like this method. It's slow, but it guarantees that we'll be safe, especially when we're low on supplies right now. So this is this is good. On my way. Your wish? What? Get out! <laughs> If we're lucky, we'll get the thing before it even comes over here. It is begun. No! Direct me. As you wish. Some type of beast ahead. Okay, they're both coming. That's fine. Maybe we should... Oh, God! Hold on. So this... Uh, I'm just pointing out what I've noticed here and what I've learned. This circle, this black portion is indicating the back for some characters who have skills where attacking from the back does more damage, right? But not every single character is my understanding. Only maybe rogues. They have that one skill. Okay, well that was a very safe way to do it, do it, but kind of slow. But hey, I need all the advantages I can get. Was there just a random spider cave? What the hell? Oh, I thought the bandit was inside the cave. <laughs> there was just a bunch of bandits here. Okay. Alright, spider's here. <laughs> I have everybody selected right now. Toxins, toxins. Why is there one bandit here? Oh, it's a bandit I didn't loot. Y'all come in? 
Is that a band that I didn't loot? Oh, did I not loot all? Hey. A whole bunch of people. Fantastic, fantastic. All the time, Stan's been staring at us. Like, hey, what are those guys doing? Weren't they gonna go talk to the revered mother? I guess not. We still have a lot more people back here. But before we move on, hold on. I just want to see if the... Um, the Venom finishes off the quest. I've got a cousin in the Templars. He says the mages in the tower out on Lake Kalanhard are all turning into demons. <gasps> they always say that, though. Yeah, well, this time it's true. They're not sure what to do about it yet, he says. What's to do? I thought you killed them. Easier said than done. Mages pick a fine time to go turning into demons, I tell you. <laughs> Not all spirits of the fate are evil. Any luck with that poison? Or are you here to see my stock? I have what you asked for. Splendid! Uh, if those beasties come on my land, I hope it teaches them a lesson. Yeah, there's enough gold to cover any of your expenses and then some, hey? Ha ha! 75 silver! Well, I did it to do it. It's not for the money. I shall do it. So can you surrender to a darkspawn? Do they take prisoners? I hear Good they question. you. I heard they just got slaves, take you underground and make you work. You ever hear of any ex-slave? They just get sick and die, I bet. Mm, you may be right. No surrender then. I don't know which would be the better possibility, really. Do you want to become a darkspawn's prisoner? Or do you just want to die a swift death? So, let me get this straight. You were a cloistered sister? You must have been a brother before you became a Templar, no? I never actually became a Templar. I was recruited into the Grey Wardens before I took my final vows. Do you ever regret leaving the Chantry? No, never. Do you? Yes. You may not believe it, but I found peace there. The kind of peace I've never known. It used to get so quiet at the monastery that I would start screaming until one of the brothers came running. I, I would tell them that I was just checking. Uh, you never know, right? I... no. I never did <laughs> anything like that. I enjoyed the quiet. Suit yourself. The look on their face was always priceless. Our entire party consists of people from different sides, like different backgrounds. And of that, Alistair and Liliana... Does Liliana count as having quit the Chantry, then? I guess so. Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. Uh... Oh. Did I hand in the quest? <laughs> I don't know! Did I hand it in? I don't think so, it's still here. Specializations. You have just qualified for a specialization, a customized form of a character's base class. Each offers a unique set of advanced talents and benefits. Characters may have up to two specializations, with the first becoming available at 7, level 7, and the second at level 14, but first, you'll need to find a trainer. It's that... I need to find a trainer? Champion, veteran warrior and a confident leader in battle. Possessing skills at arms impressive enough to inspire allies. Hmm? Seems like a person that I should be. Templar. Mages who refuse the circle's control become apostates. And then Templars go get them. Most effective means of controlling the spread and use of arcane power for centuries. But Alistair is a Templar, right? So I probably don't want to do that. Berserker. Plus 2 strength, plus 10 health. What was this one? Plus two willpower, plus one cunning. So this is very attractive, just looking at the strength. The first berserkers were dwarves. They would sacrifice finesse for dark rage that increased their strength and resilience. Eventually, dwarves taught these skills to others, and now berserkers can be found amongst all races. They are renowned as terrifying adversaries. If I want to go with my two-handedness, maybe freaking increasing my strength like crazy would be one way to do it, huh? Mental resistance, 
magic. I don't know what any of these terms really mean. Like, I know their English definition, but there's got to be a, like a place where I can read about it, right? Willpower, cunning. And then this one, this one is unlocked. Demonic spirits teach more than blood magic. Reavers terrorize their enemies, feast upon the souls of their slain opponents to heal their own flesh, and can unleash a blood frenzy that makes them more powerful as they come nearer to their own deaths. Whoa, this one sounds intense. Locked. Uh, but we only get two of these points, so if I want to put it into this one, then I should hold off, right? Kind of like having choices around here. I'll do my points, though. I think dexterity is also important to make sure I don't miss and stuff. Improves the character's chances to hit. And dodging incoming blows. So this shouldn't be too low either. Hold on. When do I get a skill point? I'm waiting for that coercion thing to come up, but it doesn't come up every single time I level up. Sometimes I get a talent, sometimes I get a skill. Guess I'll do that for now. Willpower is... Mental Fortitude Determination. Oh, this is for mages. Oh, for warriors and rogues, willpower grants more stamina for combat techniques and special attacks. That's nice too. Feels like all of these are important except for maybe magic. Hmm. Warrior, level 8, Taunt. That's an Alistair thing. If he's gonna be my tank, it's an Alistair thing. Improve combat training. I, I don't mind this one, but it's just that we haven't come across these golems or other constructs, whatever they are, so it'll be useless for now, right? So maybe I should do powerful swings instead? Alistair... What do you need? If you... If you are... My tank... Dexterity would be good... Constitution... Yeah... Maybe a little bit of willpower... Templar. Hey, you need taunt. You need taunt. Yeah. I'll work towards that. Even threaten is not... This is sustained, this is activated. So the difference is that threaten is like, you have to attack somebody first and then they become threatened. But then Taunt is like, hey, look at me! Which is closer to what I was thinking of when I thought about drawing aggro. So I'll do that. And then... Right. Yeah. Alistair now has precise striking. Try to put the same skills on the same slots for similar people. I would imagine that's easier to keep track of. Anyway. Very well. Oh, there's new ones. When bears attack. On behalf of Thed the Farmer and his departed son, I inscribe this missive. As the Maker is my witness, I charge all those with knowledge of arms and armor to brave the dangers of the Northern Wood, to find the family of bears that mauled and killed the boy Eneth. For they are an abomination in the Maker's sight, and their hides would prove great comfort to the Northern Farms and solace for Thed's family. As Chanter for Lothering, I do pledge a sum of one sovereign to whoever carries this out, the Maker's will. Exercise caution first and foremost. May his light bathe us all. Hey, you're a chanter. You can't, you can't say these custom things. A last keepsake. A thanks to all villagers who've opened their barns and crofts to the refugees. The chantry regularly hears praise from our visitors. Yada yada yada. Sadly, there is a lone boy in the village whose mother, good wife Sara, is missing. As she has been missing for the better part of a week as of this writing, she is presumed dead. May the maker bless her passing. She was a lady of middle years with red hair and fond of a green cloak. Mmm, it's the boy, the boy's mom. If any traveler finds her, please return her body or the effects on her remains. In later years, the boy will be thankful to have such keepsakes to remember his brave mother by. The officer of the chanter will compensate this kindness with a sum of 50 silvers. May the maker turn his gaze on us all. Is a sovereign a gold coin? One sovereign. I don't even know the... Wait, so did I hand this in or not? Let each look after his neighbor, and he will be looked after in return. Oh, I guess I did. Yeah, 
Or uh, no, no, no. Wait, what? Oh, the Chanter's board is like one big quest. I did the bandit one, but there's a whole bunch of other ones. I see. So this is not going to go away until I do all of it. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Hey, Liliana. What now? Fire crystal. Shards of lifestone. Crushing a fire crystal gives a user a 10% bonus to fire resistance for one minute. Okay. <laughs> don't suppose you're looking to buy something. All right, just don't buy everything up. Just want to manage my inventory a little bit. Look, it's getting high again. Oh, I probably should buy that lesser injury kit recipe. Something something teach a man to fish, give a man a fish, the whole thing. <laughs> Concentrated venom bombs. Bombs. Sounds like that could be interesting. A little bit wary about selling armor because I'm, I'm not sure if I've committed to Alistair using the heavy armor yet. Oh, this is the same as Eliana's. See, this one, the armor is higher for the leather boots, but it doesn't have plus six defense. And then I'm just like, oh, well, I don't know how to really compare that. <laughs> really. Well, this one I can sell. Anyway, let's sell some... Do I actually have that much stuff to sell here? Maybe not. Yeah, I have no clue. Maybe not that much for now. Oh, the, the short bow. Chasen flat blade? Yeah. Okay. Darkspawn battle axe. I think we're all right for now. Although, a little bit more potions might be necessary. We're kind of low. Now we gotta go back and talk to the revered mother about Sten. It's good to see you again, Sister Leliana. Thank you, Sir Maron. Can you tell me anything about the Cage Kunari? Is he still alive? The revered mother put him there a few weeks back. He'll be dead soon enough. Isn't that kind of cruel? Make her watch over you. You don't think it's cruel at all? No food? Left to die? Oh, Liliana can probably open that chest. I see you have returned, sister. I thought you had left the Chantry for good. I have, Sir Bryant. I see. Is there something more I can do for you? I thought Liliana was joining us as a part of the Maker's Quest from the Chantry. I guess she's not in it anymore. Oh. If the matter is important, certainly. What can you tell me about the imprisoned Kunari? I was there at the farmhold. The beast stood there, wet with the blood of the children. He didn't even deny slaughtering them. The revered mother ordered him caged. She has more mercy than I do. But perhaps she is right, and the Maker has love for all his creations. Even the Kunari. Okay, that's true. Yeah. I'm feeling sympathy for him because it seems cruel, but he did kill a family of eight. Is there a way he could be released? You can ask the revered mother. I say let him rot until the Darkspawn claim him. Hmm, I have nothing to ask. No, unless there's something else you need. No. Travel safely, and may the Maker watch over you. We never got a reason out of him. Maybe we'll be able to once we talk to him properly. But at this point, not yet. Hey, Liliana. Mm -hmm. Bronze symbol of Andraste. Revered mother. I'm back. Sorry, I'm still... Hey, Patter Gritch, you are being conscripted. Into the Blackstone Irregulars. Yes? What can I do for you? I have a letter for you, from the Blackstone Irregulars. I knew this time would come. I should have listened to my sister. Sure, sign the paper, she said. You'll enjoy some coin now, but they'll be back. I guess I'll see you on the front lines. People don't want to fight conscription. Yeah, we've all got to do our parts, I guess. 
We are here to guard this chantry and all mankind from forbidden magics. Good day, Sister Liliana. I'm surprised to see you're still in Lothering. It is good to see you as well, Your Reverence. Is there something I can do for you then? How do they feel about Liliana not being in the robes, but in those like, kind of revealing chastened robes now? <laughs> I want to talk about Sten, the Kunaryu imprisoned. It might have been kinder to execute him, but I leave his fate to the Maker. Why does he interest you? What did he do? He butchered an entire farmhold. Only one of the youngest hid long enough to survive. The child said his father had found the Kunari gravely wounded and took him in. That kind of was repaid with murder. The bandsman found the canary just standing amidst the carnage. He did not resist them. Can he not control himself? Some state of being berserk? Are you certain he did it? He confessed quite readily, but would give no reason for the crime. Even the seasoned knights who apprehended him were disturbed by the carnage. However docile he appears, do not be fooled. That Kunari is a danger. Maybe it's kind of like being a werewolf or something. He's normal, normally, and then when he's a werewolf, he just loses control and kills everybody around him. He did seem to regret it. What if this causes an incident with his people? The Maker demands justice, regardless of his race. I don't actually want to release him until we know more about how this happened but I don't feel like they're letting me find out until I free him. So I'll free him, but I feel like at this point it actually doesn't really make too much sense for me to want to do so. Is there any way I can convince you to release him? Then his next victims might count you and me as their murderers. Persuade option is probably going to be better all the time, yeah? But it's a lie. I don't want to lie to her. Releasing him into my custody? I, I want to say that, but I'm, I'm scared that we'll lose the persuade option if we do the first one. I've come to return him to his people. That seems highly unlikely. Do you have any sort of papers to corroborate your story? Oh, jeez. My father was Terran Kuzland. Will you trust that? Be that as it may, I cannot release a murderer simply because you are of noble birth. Be reasonable. Well, I am a Grey Warden, in need of aid against the Darkspawn. This is the truth. That's why I want him released. A Grey Warden? Oh dear, I will have to ask you to leave before you bring trouble on our heads. Let me take him with me. Let me take the Kunari and fight the Darkspawn. To defend against the Blight? Perhaps that is a form of atonement. But are you certain you can control him? <gasps> oh, that's right! The Rite of Conscription! I can do that! If not, I will kill him. Problem solved. I... No, I cannot. <sighs> There will be too much trouble for us if we are seen cooperating with you. But the Darkspawn are the real enemy here! The Maker cares no less for that Canari's victims than for the thousands who fell in Ostagar. Now, good day. No, I'm not done with you. Lady, please. Yes? What can I do for you now? I want to talk about Stan. Again? We have already discussed this, and I told you I would not release the creature. Will you not reconsider your stance? And what do you say on this, Leliana? You know your friend better than I. These are unusual times, Your Reverence. With us, the Kunari might do some good. I am sure of it, in fact. Were things not so desperate? Oh! Very well, I trust you. Take these keys to his cage and make her watch over you. Thank you, Your Reverence. Your trust is not misplaced. Thank you, thank you. I 
I probably messed up the persuasion. If I used the right of conscription, that probably would have worked, but I didn't want to be so forceful. Which might have been better for me to be forceful in the first place, but hey, thank you, Liliana, for being here and convincing your... your yes. mother. What can I do for you now? Our mother. Nothing. May the Maker guard you, Grey Warden. Okay. Jeez. Well, thank you for giving me the keys anyway. May the light of the Maker guide your path. I should go. May the Maker watch over you. I think I'll walk around with this crew first for a little bit before we go back to Sten, because I haven't even talked to Liliana yet. Yes. What do you know about this place? Lothering? I think it started as a settlement by the river, and then grew when it became the place where two roads met. There are always people in Lothering, but many are just passing through. Hmm. Let's talk about something else. Yes? I'd like to know more about you. Well, here I am. This vision of yours... I knew this would come up sooner or later. I don't know how to explain, but I had a dream. In it, there was an impenetrable darkness. It was so dense, so real. And there was a noise, a terrible, ungodly noise. I stood on a peak and watched as the darkness consumed everything. And when the storm swallowed the last of the sun's light, I... I fell. And the darkness drew me in. The vision that she had about how she should help me? You dreamed of a blight? I suppose I did. That was what the darkness was, no? When I woke, I went to the Chantry's gardens, as I always do. But that day, the rosebush in the corner had flowered. Everyone knew that bush was dead. It was grey and twisted and gnarled, the ugliest thing you ever saw. But there it was. A single, beautiful rose. It was as though the Maker stretched out his hand to say, even in the midst of this darkness, there is hope and beauty. Have faith. And this made you want to help me? In my dream, I fell. Or, or maybe I jumped. I'd do anything to stop the blight. I know that we can do it. There are so many good things in the Maker's world. How can I sit by while the blight devours everything? The Chantry says the Maker has left us. He's still here. I hear him in the wind and the waves. I feel him in the sunlight that warms my skin. I know what the Chantry says about the Maker, and what should I believe? What I feel in my heart, or what others tell me? So she has an alternative interpretation of the Maker, as opposed to the mainstream Chantry thought. Are you saying the Chantry is wrong? They said my ideas were blasphemy. But is it so bad if what I believe gives me comfort? If it could give someone else comfort? I know what I know. And no one will ever make that untrue. Fantastic. That's fantastic. It's better than just blindly believing something. You feel so strongly about this that you're acting on it and you're, you know, basing all your actions around it. So, yeah, okay, good, good. Yes. Well, here I am. They probably want me to spread this out a little bit more, but... Yeah, we're not gonna do all of it in one go, because I feel like if we do, it's like 20 minutes of standing here talking, so we'll try to do all of it. But, I mean, some of it, but not all of it. What was life like in the Chantry Cloister? Quiet. It was a life suited for contemplation. In the cloister, away from the fuss and the flurry of the cities, I found peace. And in that stillness, I could hear the Maker. But it was not perfect. Some of my Chantry fellows were condescending. That is the nature of religious folk, I suppose. Condescending? How so? When I talked about my beliefs, that the Maker reveals himself in the beauty of his world, they treated me with disdain. They want to believe that he's gone, so that when he turns his gaze on them, it means they are special, chosen. He cannot possibly have love for all, the sick and the weary, the beggars and the fools. What did you say to them? What can I say to them? What they believe is what the Chantry says, and the Chantry is infallible, yes? Maybe I am wrong. 
but it is the Maker's place to decide if I am worthy, not men, not the Chantry. But there is work to be done, and I have talked enough for now. This makes me feel like Liliana's beliefs are stronger than the average Chantry member, actually. As most people would go with the flow, they wouldn't want to go against, say, the revered mother. But she's like, no, no, this is what I believe in my heart, and I don't care what you believe. It's what I believe, and it, it helps me, it comforts me. So yes. therefore, I will keep believing in it. Well, here I am. What would someone like you be doing in Lothering's Chantry? What is meant by someone like me? <laughs> you know, a beautiful, charming woman like yourself. And there were no beautiful, charming women in the cloisters, you think? <laughs> you would be wrong. There were many lovely young initiates in the Lothering Cloister. All of them chaste and virtuous. <laughs> it added to their mystique. Because then, there were forbidden. And forbidden fruit is the sweeter, no? This sounds like personal experience. <laughs> <clears throat> what about your fruit? Is it forbidden? My fruit? <laughs> I... I can't believe I'm having this conversation. This is sexual <clears throat> harassment. But no, I did not take vows. The Chantry provides succor and safe harbor to all who seek it. I chose to stay and become affirmed. Affirmed? We affirm our belief in the Maker, in Andraste and the Chant, but other than that, there are no vows taken. And why were you seeking safe harbor? The Chantry does not pride, and you should. I oh, desired no. time apart from the world. I was a traveling minstrel in Orle. Tales and songs were my life. I performed, and they rewarded me with applause and coin. And my skill in battle? Well, you pick up different skills when you travel, yes? Yes, of course. Um, let's move on. Survival skills? Hey, if you don't want to share, feel free to not share. I'm just asking as a, as a human interested in another human. I'm not trying to pry. Yes. Hey, if I say that, what does that mean? Is that gonna, like, freaking kick her out of my party? Oh my god. <laughs> well, here I am. You were a traveling minstrel. Do you have tales to share? Of course I do. I love stories far too much to keep them to myself. Everyone should be able to benefit from them, I think. Tell me about Darkspawn. Chantry Law says it is man's pride that created the Darkspawn. In ages past, the mages of the Tevinder Imperium ruled much of the world we know. In their pride, they thought their magics invincible and imagined that they were greater than the Maker himself. So thinking, they invaded his golden city, planning to take it for themselves and depose their own creator. But they were impure and full of sin. And it is with the sin that they tainted the Golden City, corrupting it forever. The Maker cursed them, and cast them from his sight. Wherever they went, they spread the taint of their sin. Any land that was touched by the taint became blighted, and would suffer no life. Instead, the Darkspawn arose to torment us, and remind us of our hubris. If the Maker is trying to punish us, why does it keep coming back? Why does the Darkspawn keep coming back? We fend them off for a little while, but they always come back. Know any stories from Morlay? Of course, Orlesians enjoy telling stories. I shall tell you my favorite tale of Aveline, the Knight of Orlay. That sounds interesting. A long time ago, a girl child was born to a farmer. He had hoped for a son, not a daughter. And so he told his wife to abandon the child in the woods. Wow. Before the cold could claim her, the baby was found by a tribe of Dalish elves who took pity on the poor mewling thing and raised her as their own. Aveline, for that is what they called her, grew strong and quick and clever under the guidance of the elves. She learned to wield the sword as well as any man, could kill a deer with an arrow at a hundred paces, and was as graceful on the back of a horse as she was on foot. Continue, please. Aveline's Dalish guardians saw that she could easily best any Olesian chevalier in battle and wanted to show the cruel humans the child they had left to die. They bestowed upon her a fine horse and armor 
and sent her to prove herself to her people in the Grand Tourney. Now in those days, no woman was allowed to take up arms, let alone compete in the Grand Tourney. What? But Aveline kept her helmet on and was not discovered. I thought... I thought women were supposed to be equal here. What? Was that only for Ralden? This is Orle. Did she win the tourney? Aveline won many events and gained the approval of the adoring crowd. Eventually, she came face to face with the knight Kaleva in the Grand Melee. Aveline had already bested him in the joust, and Kaleva was determined not to lose a second time. Out of desperation to regain his honor, Kaleva tripped Aveline and tossed her to the ground, ripping off her helmet as he did so. Silence fell upon the arena as Aveline was revealed. Kaleva declared the previous competitions invalid. A woman had taken part and this was not allowed. But the crowd cheered for Aveline. Kaleva was furious for he had lost to a woman and was now being shamed. Blinded by his rage, he forced Aveline to her knees. Know your place, woman, cried he, and slit her throat. What? I was hoping for a happy ending. The son of the king, Prince Freyan, was present. He recognized Aveline's skill and bravery and began to see the injustice done to the women in his land. When he was made king, ah. he rewrote the laws of Ole so that women could also become chevalier. He honored Aveline and knighted her after her death. And to this day, any female who is knighted reveres Aveline the Brave, for she is the patron of all women chevalier. It's terrible that she had to die for this to happen, but I guess these sorts of advances always come from that type of tragedy. Because otherwise, there's no reason to push for change. We'll stop here for now. Okay. Hey, she liked that I listened to her stories. Plus one. Cool. Now, a lot of people are still waiting for me to do stuff for them. I think we're gonna be in Lothering for quite a while, is what it sounds like. Here, we're fine. They say your mother is Flemeth, a witch of the Kokari Worlds. They also say that washing your feet in winter makes you catch cold in the head, but we all know that is not true. But sometimes, they are right. And they are right in this. You know the stories about... Of course. You think my mother would let me go without telling me all the stories of her youth? My mother told me stories too. She was the one who kindled my love of the old tales and legends. Hmm. My mother's stories curdled my blood and haunted my dreams. No little girl wants to hear about the wilder men her mother took to her bed. Using them till they were spent, Ooh. then killing them. No little girl wants to be told that this is also expected of her once she comes of age. I... um... I see. No, you don't. You really don't. Wow, that was a very normal conversation between party mates. <laughs> can we go into every house? No. I can certainly steal everything though. Hello, Miss Allison. Hello, uh, stranger. I don't suppose you know anyone that can make traps? Oh, this is kind of like the poison- Ah, this is a tutorial. The poison quest was, hey, learn how to make poison. This one, hey, learn how to make traps. I don't know how to make traps, though. What do you need traps for? Old man Barlin said that Darkspawn may be coming soon. He's got traps on his farm. I figured I'd put a few on my lands. Barlin wants to- Poison his traps. I just want normal traps. Why don't you just buy some? None to be had. Barlin has all the traps in the village in his fields. Barlin has poison traps on his land? Oh, he doesn't have any poison yet, thank the maker. Um, so his fields are just full of traps. He can be a bit eccentric. Sorry, I can't make traps. I, I didn't mean to bother you. Sorry. Is that it then? Lothering doesn't have any more beds for refugees, but they keep coming. I think I just lost the quest then. But I'm assuming this is a similar quest to the poison thing, but I really don't know how to make traps. I mean, I, I guess that's okay. We'll eventually figure it out. I guess Liliana would be the one 
to know how to make traps. We can't level up right now though, because she's not... She's not there yet. How do I see skills without leveling up? Can we see skills? Rogue, bard, human... No, I don't think we can see... Well, that's fine. Okay. It is what it is. You are very beautiful, Morrigan. Tell me something I do not know. But you are always dressed in such rags. It suits you, I suppose. A little tear here, <laughs> a little rip there to show some skin. I understand. You understand I lived in a forest, I hope. Maybe we could get you in a nice dress one day. Silk. No, maybe velvet. Velvet is heavier. Better to guard against the cold in Ferelden. Dark red velvet. Yes. With gold embroidery. It should be cut low in the front, of course. What? We don't want to hide your features. Stop looking at my breasts like that. It is most disturbing. You don't think so? <laughs> and if it's cut low in the front, we must put your hair up. Show off that lovely neck. You are insane. I would sooner let Alistair dress me. It'll be fun, I promise. <laughs> we'll get some shoes too. <gasps> shoes. We could go shopping together. That was, yet again, a very normal conversation between party mates. Liliana's joined us for all of three seconds and she's already making waves here. <laughs> uh, she wants to have girl time, I suppose, but Morgan isn't really girly girl kind of girl. <laughs> hey, maybe maybe Liliana will be a good influence on her. Something. Now I'm kind of afraid to go talk to the other person. Because what if they also have another tutorial quest that I can't do? Hey, free money. Money, money. Oh, the elder. Right, people were like, oh, you can go talk to Sir Bryant or this elder. Laviana. We don't have to go back to myself to talk. I just want to. You got a bed for the night. You taken care of. <laughs> Actually, I was more hoping I could help you. Don't need blades right now. We need beds, food, and an end to all these sad sots. I don't suppose you know anything of tonics, medicines, or herbs. I know a bit about herbalism. Then you may be able to do us a lot of good. All manner of travelers come through, many injured or sick. We do our best, but we're out of supplies. There's medicinal herbs in the woods to the north. If you make a few poultices, I'll scrape together some sort of payment. I'll write all you need to know in this note here. Right. See, because we know herbalism, we got this quest. I was hoping they would just... Like, when I know how to make traps, can I come back and get the quest again? Maybe not, because the little marker is gone. Craft some lesser health poultices. Three should suffice. I already have three that I crafted earlier, that you're gonna steal from me! Have any luck finding herbs in the woods? I didn't eat them. Here you go. This will help many people. You're a good sort, you know. Got 50 silver for that. Okay, 